In this video, we will show you how to measure and mark for your door installation. Choose the right combination for you. Build a support frame if your doors are shorter than the available space. Install the track and rail correctly. Cut the doors if they are bigger than the available space. The first step is to measure the required depth of the wardrobe space. Usually, it's 60 to 65 centimeters. If you are planning to install pre-built wardrobe internals, make sure they will fit inside your space. Mark it. Next, measure your available height on both ends and in the middle, to make sure that there is no difference in height and floor and ceiling are level. Now, measure your available opening width. You must measure from wall to wall if there is no skirting. If you have skirting you will need to either cut off a piece of skirting to allow the door to touch the wall or fix an end panel on both sides to match the thickness of the skirting board. In this case, measure the width between skirting to skirting. Next, calculate how many doors you will require for your space. You can use the size matrix on our website or calculate it using the following method. Think about the best door combination that could suit you, then add all widths together and subtract the required overlaps. For example, 4 doors 650 mm make a total of 2600 mm, minus 3 overlaps of 50 mm each equals 2450 mm. This is the maximum width suitable for this door combination. In our example the available opening width is 2400 mm, therefore 4 doors at 650 mm would be the best option. Next, decide what doors you would like to install, 2000 mm, 2200 mm, or 2400 mm in height. Remember to include an extra 30 to 35 mm for the track and rail installation. In our example, the height of the ceiling is 2300 mm. In this case, you have three options. Option 1. Use our 2000 mm high doors. The required height is 2030 mm to allow track and rail installation. You would need to build a frame and cover the top gap of 270 mm. Option 2. Use our 2200 mm high doors. The required height is 2,230 mm so you would need to fix a piece of timber 70 mm thick to your ceiling prior to track installation. Option 3. Use our XXL 2,400 mm high doors. In this option, you would need to cut the doors to adjust them to the required height, but there will be no need for extra timber work and you can use a full height from the floor to ceiling. If the total height is 2,300 mm, the doors must be 2,270 mm, so there is enough space for the track and rail. In our example we went for 4 doors at 2,000 mm in height and 650 mm wide. We will need to build a frame. As the total height is 2,300 mm and the doors with the track and rail require only 2,030 mm of space, we would like to reduce the total height by 270 mm. Start by measuring and marking the guidelines for the frame as well as the track and rail installation on the floor, ceiling, and walls. If your required depth is 600 mm then move your guideline to the front by 30 to 50 mm allowing some extra space for the top track. Next, cut two lengths of timber to fit between the two walls, in this case, 2400 mm in length. You can join two or more pieces of timber if they are shorter than your available opening width. Two by three inches of timber would be perfect for building the frame. Next, measure and cut short timber pieces. Recommended distance between the short pieces is a maximum of 100 cm. Therefore for a 2400 mm opening width you will need 4 pieces. The length of the short timber pieces will depend on the gap that you have above the doors. Now, using the screws, fix all the short pieces to one long timber. Next, fit the frame into the ceiling and walls. It is recommended to screw into the timber behind the plasterboard, otherwise, use hollow wall anchors or spring toggle type bolts for maximum strength. Next, fix the last piece of timber. Now we are ready to install the track and rail along with the doors. First install the top track. Its position will determine the position of the rail. Now fix the rail to the floor. If you have a carpet, it could be installed above the carpet. Please line up your track and rail from the inside of your wardrobe. 
Once the track and rail are installed you can insert your doors. To cover the gap above the doors you can use plasterboard, wood, plywood, or PVC trims. Now we will show you how to cut the doors to adjust them to the required height in case your available height is not enough to accommodate the doors. We will use the same example and existing measurements. This time we will be installing XXL 2400mm high doors. Our available height is 2300mm, and the track and rail require an extra 30-35mm, to 35 millimeters, so the doors must be only 2270mm high. It means that we need to make them shorter by 130 mm. In this case, we would need to cut the aluminium frame pieces to 2270 mm in height, and either one panel by 130 mm, or two panels by 65 mm to make the door look symmetrical. For cutting the door you can use standard hand tools, hacksaws and wood saws are fine. A perfect cut is recommended but not required, the cut side of the wooden panels will be covered by the aluminium bar. It's best to also keep the cut aluminium frame end at the top so it will not be visible. After the first door is cut and finished, install and try it before cutting the next door. Repeat the process for the remaining doors.